In this video, I'm going to show you five strategies that top AI agencies are using to source an unlimited amount of quality leads in seconds. These strategies are all beginner friendly and they won't break the bank. Now, some of them are super easy to scale while others are very targeted, but they will dramatically boost your chances of booking meetings and closing deals. The best part? All these methods are proven and I've handpicked the best after conversations with dozens of AI agency owners among the 60,000 plus agency customers we have. So this is really what the best of the best are using. Let's dive straight into it. Okay, the first strategy is what I like to call Google search, but on steroids. You see, traditionally what a lot of agency owners do when they start prospecting is they'll pull up Google Maps and they'll punch in the query related to the type of businesses that they wanna target, such as a foot clinic near me or an arborist in Long Island, New York. They'll pull up these businesses, scan through them, look for the ones where there's an opportunity that's apparent, like a low star rating or an incomplete business profile, manually compile that data in an Excel spreadsheet, and then cold call or email those prospects. Now, this is a good way to start, don't get me wrong, but it does have some pretty big drawbacks. Number one, it doesn't give you the right or complete information for your prospecting. For example, if you're only looking at a star rating, that's only gonna tell you so much about a business. It doesn't tell you about other indicators like what's the health of their SEO? What's their website traffic like? Do they have an AI chatbot? And then you have to do that next layer of research yourself where you typically start sifting through their website. And importantly, their website may not necessarily even have the name or contact details of the key decision maker that you're trying to reach. Meaning, you don't even know who to email or call at the end of the day. And that leads to the second drawback, which is this process is just not scalable. So to go through these opportunities, you can just imagine the time sink required. You gotta acquire that information, compile that information, keep it updated, and um, keep updating things like, hey, who did you contact? When did you talk to them last? What's the next step? Did you book a meeting? Did you send follow-up emails? It can all become very complicated very quickly. And that's why if you want to do this at scale, you do need a good CRM. So do your research, try out a couple of different CRMs. What I use is Vendasta's AI powered CRM. And that has many of the functions of a traditional CRM, but it also has a prospecting and outreach tool. So you're getting all these functions combined in one. So as an example, let's say I want to source new leads for a new AI powered reputation management product that I'm launching and I wanna do a campaign for. So an ideal prospect for something like this would be a business that has a Google review of less than four stars. Now again, I could go through and manually do a Google search, but it's simply going to take too long. Whereas with my CRM, I can use a prospector tool to filter all the local businesses in an area by their rating, and I can find their name, their address, their star rating, and very importantly, the name and title of the key decision maker from that business in just a few clicks. So a task that would take you and a couple of virtual assistants perhaps, or maybe even an SDR, hours of their day on end can now be automated at scale so that you can focus more on your outreach, campaign messaging, and having those conversations rather than digging the digital dirt with a shovel. Okay, strategy number two, websites. Now you might think that I have a love affair with websites given how many times I mention them, but it's true. In fact, in this video, I've done a walkthrough of the perfect AI agency website that's designed to generate nonstop leads. And I'll be going through every little detail, including the design, SEO optimization, funky AI tools that you can use to interact with leads and copywriting principles that are applicable to landing pages. But what I want to touch on in this episode is some of the features that I'm seeing AI agencies use to generate leads in innovative ways with websites. So number one, chatbots. As AI agency owners, it's a no-brainer to practice what we preach to local businesses. Your prospects are busy, and when you use digital ad campaigns to get people and leads to your website, you want them to get answers and get in touch with you as quickly as possible, as is the same case when a lead visits a local business's website. So if you've got long forms on your website that a lead can't be bothered to complete, or it's outside your business hours and your phone isn't available, you're leaving money on the table. And that's where chatbots can come in for you as an AI agency owner. They can help prospects answer some basic questions and quickly get their contact information so that you can get notified of a lead coming through a chatbot and you can continue that conversation over text, email, or phone. 
And I've already seen AI agency owners get clients simply because that interactive tool was there for prospects at the right time to get information quickly or to provide that information quickly. The other part about websites, of course, is thought leadership content. Now, I'm sure many of you are very well versed when it comes to the power of content, but how do you scale it? Even with AI, and AI can do a lot, what it can't do is create polished pieces that really hit the mark and sound authentic with your target audiences. So you, need, you do need that human polishing. So here's how I'm seeing AI agencies develop cost-effective website copy. So number one, what they'll do is create an outline or briefs using AI for topics that they want to be known for. So for example, five reasons for salons to have a loyalty program or how local restaurants can dominate search rankings. And number two, there are tons of skilled SEO and ghostwriters out there looking for work. So the rates right now are really good. And what I'm seeing these AI agencies do is take advantage of market rates right now, give bulk packages to these writers who end up giving them one to two articles per month that are ghostwritten for the owners of these AI agencies. They'll buy this content as a one-off purchase and they'll publish it throughout the year, noting in these titles in parenthesis something like updated for 2024. Then early next year or before the end of this year, the AI agency owner will review those same articles and simply update them for 2025 and 2026 and change the wording to be updated for 2025, 2026, etc. And if there are no major updates to the underlying content, they'll do a light amount of editing using AI. Maybe they'll change up the image and they've got the same bank of content to work for to generate new leads for years. I personally thought it was genius because it doesn't require you creating fresh content every month, every week, every year. By the way, I would love to hear about your favorite lead generation source. So if there's something I haven't thought about in this video or is uncommon among agency owners, please drop a comment. Let us know where your place to generate leads is. Okay, number three, referral programs. Now this one is pretty straightforward, but one of my good agency connections gave me an idea with a twist. So typically when it comes to referral programs, we're asking our own customers to refer to us or they're doing it naturally on our behalf. And sometimes there might be incentives in play and that's how it's done normally. So this AI agency owner out of Maryland actually has a pretty good arrangement with some of his business connections. So for example, how, how it works is when he posts content, that content is shared by one of the local plumbers and vice versa. When that plumber is giving advice on how to fix a leaky faucet, the agency owner shares that content and the idea is to promote businesses in the community and help other businesses alongside your agency expand your reach. The plumber isn't necessarily a customer, but through that mutually beneficial relationship, both of them are getting more reach and it's worked for their individual lead generation efforts. So his tip in this is to reach out to business owners who you think could be really beneficial for maximizing uh, your and their share of voice on social media and take a win-win approach when it comes to sharing content. So sort of, I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine. Okay, number four, speaking of social media, we of course have LinkedIn, which offers a number of great features beyond the core day-to-day -day usage of publishing engaging posts and giving you another uh, avenue to express your thought leadership. So for example, we've got LinkedIn lead generation forms. These forms make it easy to collect information from potential leads. They're already filled out with LinkedIn profile da data, so people can just click to send you their details. Plus, you can track how well your campaigns are doing and manage your leads easily. The other is matched audiences. This feature helps you connect with people you already know and find new leads who are similar to your existing customers. It's like finding more of the right people for your business. Then you have sponsored content, so you can put your ads right in front of your target audience as they scroll through their LinkedIn feed. It's a great way to get more people to know about your brand and visit your website. And then you have LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Think of it as a supercharged tool for finding and connecting with potential customers. You can search for specific types of leads, seamlessly integrate them within your CRM system, find warm introductions through your company network, spot potential customers who are ready to buy, and uncover valuable connections with target accounts.
The last lead generation strategy, and my favorite, is in-person events. Now, many of the other strategies we talked about today are scalable because they're digital, right? Whereas in-person events are highly targeted. Now, they can't be scaled, but of course, I can't stress how important in-person networking is. You know, there's just something about a handshake, eye contact, meeting a person, building rapport, having donuts and coffee or lunch. And this has been personally my main avenue where I've gotten my best clients. They close a lot quicker too, because it's so much easier to build a connection at a function or over um, a meal than it is a cold email. Now, one of the questions you might ask is, well, what in-person events should I go to as an AI agency owner? And here I'm gonna go through just a random live example of what I would do if I was looking to source leads at a networking event. Okay, so let's pretend I'm living in Salt Lake City and I want to uh, find some leads at uh, some in-person networking events. So the first thing you're gonna do is Google your local cities Chamber of Commerce. So here's the Salt Lake Chamber of Commerce, for example, and I've just gone to their events and programs uh, page. I've gone to their signature events section and there's a business out after hours networking event. There's a classic golf tournament um, and there's a couple of um, economic events where it could be great to just meet um, uh, local businesses from the community. Another one literally built for this purpose is Eventbrite and I love Eventbrite. Uh, for uh, not just you know recreational events, but for business events. So again, I'm going to Eventbrite and I've just Googled in Salt Lake City events and there are a ton of opportunities here. So for example, uh, you've, you've got um, Amped Up Speed Networking. So this is an event where um, uh, business owners get together and they're sharing business ideas. And through something like this, you could even practice your own pitch and just expand your network in general. It doesn't have to be just for the purposes of uh, generating leads. It could be just to boost your conf confidence in terms of how you prospect um, at real networking events. Uh, then a couple of opportunities that I can spot here on Eventbrite are things like construct construction opportunities for an $11 billion project. Well, um, that's probably quite the hotspot for uh, generating leads. Uh, you've got leaders in procurement uh, within the health industry. You've got the grand opening of um, a local business uh, in Salt Lake. So these are, these are some really um, uh, uh, easy opportunities to access. And the idea is you go to these events, you make connections, um, you do have to be careful in terms of not just being the person who turns up and just sells stuff. So you do have to really warm up these people before asking them to work with you as an agency. And that's it, five awesome avenues to source an unlimited number of leads. Now remember, all of what I mentioned was only to source them. Your follow-ups in terms of your sales outreach and cold emailing is the next step in the journey. And I've done a video on that topic over here, so please do check it out. I hope this video gave you some practical ideas and insights on where to find leads, and I wish you the very best in your journey to go and close them. That's it from me for today. Please don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and hit that notification bell. It helps us out a lot.